troopers were hurt today, along with several other people in this crash involving a fire truck and an ambulance and a dump truck as well. Happened just before 10.30 in the morning as the emergency workers were helping with another accident. Police say the dump truck crashed into the scene on this is Interstate 280, just south of Mount Pleasant Avenue in West Orange. That is where CBS News' Hazel Sanchez is right now with the latest. Hazel. Yeah, quite a wild scene, Maurice. State police have been processing this accident scene for more than six hours now, trying to figure out why the driver of that dump truck crashed, causing a damaging chain of events. And you can see the vehicles involved are still here at the scene, and people who drive on this stretch of 280 say it's very dangerous, and this accident was not surprising. It was horrific. Uh... It, I, it shook me to the bones. Robert Hodson is still shaken up after witnessing this devastating chain reaction accident on Interstate 280 right outside his West Orange apartment window. Several cars smashed, a dump truck scorched, and despite it all, everyone survived. <laughs> State police say it happened around 10:20 this morning. State troopers were responding to an earlier accident in the eastbound lane of I-280 near Exit 9 in West Orange. Lewis Reed saw the first accident happen. Yeah, they were speeding. The guy that hit that first car, he was speeding. And then he swerved. Yes, he swerved and lost control. Two state troopers were outside their squad cars talking to the people involved in the first crash when Robert Hodson says he saw the dump truck approaching, seemingly out of control. Barreling down, hitting the troopers, tearing off part of the trooper car, and then flipping over and running into the ambulance. The dump truck burst into flames when it slammed into a responding ambulance, pushing the ambulance into the rear of a West Orange fire truck. One woman had to be pulled from her burning car. Tyrone Williams often drives this stretch of 280 and was not surprised to see what happened. You have a decline, come around the curve from exit nine, and then the gray goes lower. Trucks can't stop. Seven people were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Two troopers suffered serious injuries but are expected to be okay. Some locals call this section of the highway Dead Man's Curve, recalling similar accidents on this stretch of 280 in West Orange this year. And I think it has to do, frankly, with the four lanes going into three here and people barreling down 280 and trying to merge. Again, we still don't know why the driver of this dump truck crashed. Interstate 280 was closed in both directions for the investigation. The eastbound lanes remain closed at this hour, but as you can see behind me, the westbound lanes are now open for traffic. We are live in West Orange. <laughs> Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Hazel, thank you.